welcome back to another episode of the Jigster Lifestyle. Decided that today, with it being a beautiful, beautiful sunny day out here in California, what better time than now to do a quick overview of the Moto XP Recambi fairings that I have installed for the Jixer 1000R build, aka Project Daenerys. So as you can tell, I've had these fairings on for about a month, as y'all have seen in previous videos, and you know, I really just kind of wanted to do a quick walk around and an overview and a review of my experience with these fairings so far, give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, of course. So yeah, let's get started. So little bit about these fairings I ordered them back in February of 2023 and it took a little less than a month for them to arrive they were made custom built to order out in Italy from there they got shipped to the US and then I ended up actually taking them to a dealership to get them installed because I don't have the patience tools or expertise to install them myself so I was like you know what there's people that do this for a living that are a lot better at it and probably way more efficient than I could ever be at it. And of course I paid them to do it, but I digress. Um, quick overview of the fairings. So these fairings came in their elite package. So when you order them through Moto XP Recambi, you can either get the economic uh, paint package, which is a little bit more economically feasible, or you can order the uh, premium package, aka the elite package, where you have um, three levels of paint as well as clear um, put on, so clear coat, which is going to mitigate the risk of rock and chip damage and or uh, your stickers and stuff peeling off over time. So one thing that I love about these fairings is really the artistry and detail that they went into building them. I mean, if you take a look at all this right from the stickers to the actual painting you know they went through and they painted the matte black on first and three levels and three layers of paint and then they actually applied the clear um, to really lock it in and this was after they applied all the stickers right so this is the Ryuyo package um, which is essentially the replica of the Ryuyo uh, team's race bike that they had debuted back in I believe it was 2017 I really like the color scheme and that's why I chose this um, one cool thing about Moto XP Recambi is that they do also provide OEM fairings uh, for the Jixer 1000R so if you like the standard OEM colors that the various models come in they do provide fairings for those for those of y'all that know, my bike's 2023 model, so it came in the black and lime green color scheme. And of course, I wanted to kind of switch it up. So the good. Again, one great thing about these fairings is really just the artistry and the amount of, I guess you could say, due diligence that the manufacturer put into developing these. I mean, they put a lot of time in them. They're built to order, which is why they take a little bit longer to arrive. Um, the con is they are a little pricey, right? But I fully believe that you get what you pay for. I ended up paying about $1,300 for this fairing kit. And for me, it was well worth it. Also came with the tank cover to really just kind of go with the overall aesthetic and flow of the bike. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of other companies out here that do provide the Ryuo um, package for their motorcycles as far as the fairing kit. I think Alkmart's is one of them and I believe Monster Fairings has them too. And they're a little bit um, less expensive. I can't really speak on the quality of either company because I've never had those on my bike so I wouldn't want to say anything to disparage them. But what I will say is this, you do get what you pay for. Now if you're on a budget then 100% Alkmart's and Monster Fairings might be the way to go but if you do have a little bit of liquidity and you have, I guess, a little bit higher um, risk appetite from a financial standpoint, then, you know, I highly recommend Moto XP Recambi. So when it comes to installing these, I did speak to the technicians that installed these. They said that these fairings were a little stiff um, as far as the application and actually bolting them on. Um, and there were some parts that had a little bit of friction point, but 
they said you know once they got on they fit seamlessly they fit in place they're very very snug I mean these are very very durable um, fairings and it makes sense right for Moto XP Recambi they do make street versions of their fairings which is what I'm rocking here on Daenerys but then they also have their race fairings too for those of y'all that like to be track missiles and you know go out there and send it so if you want a race bike application they do have those versions of the fairings and you know that's a plus because not too many companies provide race fairings a lot of times you have to either get them custom fabricated or you just have to do your research and find um, a place to get them now one thing that I haven't mentioned yet about these fairings is that though they do um, fit pretty tight one thing that I would say is a slight con and it's just me being a little nitpicky is that for the Ryuyo version I do wish that they had the entire Ryuyo itself going all the way down just like how they have on the race bikes now for their race version of these fairings they do have those and I'll include essentially a picture of what it looks like but essentially the word Ryuyo starts here at the tank and goes diagonally all the way down to the front of the fairings and it does the exact same from left to right on the opposite side but you know that's just me being uh, nitpicky all, all in all I truly love these fairings um, they are definitely an attention grabber i think the first thing that people notice when they see the bike is the fairings and they really do like how that matte black and matte blue uh just mesh well together and it looks different right you can tell it's not oem it goes with the overall carbon tire hugger the overall aesthetic of the bike right that matte black matte blue with hints of carbon here and there just kind of sprinkled in to add a little bit of mm, you know a little bit of finesse to the motorcycle so i just kind of love how it goes well together i threw on the gb racing engine cover and alternator cover as well and again with that matte black aesthetic it really just flows with the motorcycle so again um i would 100 percent recommend moto xp recambi for those of you all that have the liquidity to afford it and the patience right you know if you don't need fairings right then and there and you can wait four to five weeks then 100 percent you know definitely go for it if not there are other companies that you can go with but i do not recommend or <laughs> let me uh let me rephrase that i do not regret getting these fairings at all some other modifications that I've thrown on the bike that I've hidden on on other videos, of course, are the zero gravity windscreen. It's a little bit lower profile, so it doesn't give as much of an aerodynamic um, tuck as some of the higher level um, windscreens that go up a little bit higher vertically. But just from a truly aesthetic perspective i mean it flows well it kind of gives the bike a lower profile and of course when you're still in a really low tuck and you know it, it really helps with the aerodynamics for me i'm only five nine and a half so i don't have to lean too far forward to get in a good tuck and still be up under that windscreen with it being super smoked and tinted it just it vibes well threw on the rizoma stealth mirrors and the harmonizer front winglets and yeah, I've built this bike from an aesthetic standpoint about as far as I'm going to take it. Of course, I do plan on doing some engine work and adding some turb ski on there to get the boost going. So yeah, as always, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at TheRealGarrettJ23. Got so, so, so much coming for Project Daenerys. Y'all stay tuned because it's going to be crazy everything that I have planned for. But yeah, beautiful day out here. So I think I'm going to get ready to hop on the bike and go for a ride. Because on days like this, you know, you got to take advantage. So anyway, y'all be safe and I'm out.